I was 18 when I recorded my first album. Wow. And I just turned 34. So, uh, yeah, it's been a long time. You look exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, so absolutely. Do you. No, no, so no, no, no. You. you look exactly the same. But what a good time to do a sort of best of album. But it was inspired by school children in a way. It was actually. Um, so basically, it's been quite a couple, about two or three years that I've uh, that I've had, you know, my lovely team at BMG, my record label, wanted me to do something like this. Right. And it took quite a bit of convincing because, as you know, like in the music industry, artists get such an inflated bit of love thrown our way. And it's so tempting to, like, believe it all, but you do have to kind of just go, OK, you know, is this real? How long is this going to last? Um, and so there is a bit of, you know, you're trying to judge your own work and it can be really difficult, especially when, like, songs are so addictive mm. and they feel so good to sing. But, yeah, this summer uh, was a second year where the Georgian School, which is a Saturday school, mm. set up by um, people that have come over, like my family, from Georgia, you know, and any kids to basically teach them Georgian songs, sure. Georgian music, bit of culture. Yeah. And um, they've got kids there and they put on this summer song festival and every single one of them, about 25 of them, have all picked songs from my catalogue to sing in two oh. years in a row. Wow. And it's so inspiring. They're kids from the age of, like, six and 12. Mm. And they're singing their hearts out on, oh. like, Closing to Crazy, If You're a Sailboat. It's just gorgeous to see. That's so lovely. And, and also, they must identify very strongly with you as well. They see someone from Georgia who's come over here and done incredibly well. Um, yeah. So that, that you, you know, you're a great role model for them too, which is which is really it's good. A, yeah, I mean, it's amazing because oh. obviously making it in the music industry is a big dream for a lot of people. It's hard. Um, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, we've. I mean, I've done like how many albums now? I'm actually finding it hard to remember. <laughs> Seven, I think. Right. And um, everything from Call of the Search to Piece by Piece to In Winter with the mm. Glory Women's Choir. Um, I'm actually so proud of all the works. Mm. And so yeah, we've gathered the best stuff thanks to these kids that have given me the kind of, I guess, the courage to go, actually, yeah, this is the time to release this. Your husband has been, you rock, of course he has. Because yes. you've had some, you, you wouldn't think it looking at you, but, you know, things like feeling low and depression and all of that can hit absolutely anyone. We're going to be talking to Joe about that later. Mm. Um, but, you, you know, you had some down times and he's always been there to, to pick you up, hasn't he? Oh, he's been incredible. He was actually, I met him six months after I got, of, got out of hospital. Right. And um, he has been my rock. And even before that, my family and my doctor mm. and all the nurses at Capio Nightingale in London were phenomenal. Mm. I had um, it just something that just came completely out of the blue, an acute psychotic breakdown. Never had anything like that mm. before. And, um, it, you know, I'm just so grateful that I was able to recover. I mean, to be honest, because I didn't know much about it, I never thought you could recover from something like that. Mm. So to have had the people around me that helped, um, yeah. was, like, just magical. And it just shows you that it can absolutely happen to anyone. It you know, really you think can. somebody's leading yeah. a golden life, mm -hmm. you know, looking in from the outside, looking in, you think, that's oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And we just never know what battles people are fighting well, on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that's one of the reasons why it can be more risky for people, you know, in very high-pressure jobs, mm. because you're meant to also be utterly on top of the world. Yeah. And so that can kind of create an in, sort of an internal struggle because, mm. you know, because the thing is, actually, being successful in the music industry is just like anything else. You know, there's a lot of politics involved. There's a lot of business stuff you've got yeah. to deal with and you've you got to sort realize. out. You don't and at the same time, you know, you're trying to create great works of art, mm. you know, great songs, classic songs. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of things yeah. to juggle. Which you have, because your songs, they stick in the mind. You've got your guitar here. I've I got do, to, just, yes. just a little, little, little okay, bit okay. of one of your most loved songs, yes. I think. Right, I think everybody go. loves this one, don't they? Beautiful. This is the closest thing to crazy I have ever been Feeling 22 Acting 17 this is the nearest thing to crazy I have ever known. I was never crazy on my own. And now I know that there's a link between the two. Being close. 
close to craziness and being close to you.